Hey, Sean Jantz here. I'm going to do a quick battle plan for Thursday, June 4th, and I'm going to do it on the Slash TF, which is the Rusty 2000, and the Slash um, e ES, which is the US 500. I know I'm doing this a little late. Um, I just flew in, flew from Idaho to my hometown in Kansas. I'm just now getting in, looking at some charts, get this plan out quickly so that you, when you wake up in the morning before a market opens, you can watch this and kind of see um, what you want to do for the day, or at least what I'm going to do. Right? I'm looking at this now. I'm liking everything. I got my weeklies on, and uh, looks like everything's looking good so far. Hopefully, you're getting in those weeklies with me. It's almost free money. Might as well just snatch them up. All you got to do is hit a button. Um, quickly, I'll start here on the TF, and I'm going to start here on a uh, daily time frame. So, D for daily. Um, so when I look at this daily, you can see that we had a pr this little this little uh, channel that we've been in here for the last eight days. Um, this little moving average kind. Of, we had a nice little pop up um, for uh, on Wednesday, right? But pop ups mean good. I like pop-ups. Why? Because obviously when you see this daily chart, obviously we're starting to get a little, it started to get a little overbought and a little overextended. And so then when you move to this four-hour chart, this is where it really looks good. So you can obviously see we had the move up, right? And uh, you can see how this is getting overbought here. You can see the reversal star is already starting. And so obviously I'm already in the 1271 weekly. You can actually go grab that right now if you want to. I'm def obviously definitely not against dailies. The only issue that I'm having right now with this TF, <coughs> excuse me, is that um, the only issue that I'm having with the TF is that uh, Basically, like the prices aren't very good on Nadex. So, like, if you go look right now, 1268 daily is worth like 20 bucks right now, which is only if you see 1262.7, that's only about five points away. I don't like that. I want to get, I want to try and. So, basically, if we move to our plot chart, obviously, you can see this looks like it looking like it wants to start selling off tomorrow. Um, look like something, you know, something like that, like that, right? And so if we move to the plot chart on the TF, you get a little better idea. Um, you can see value area high up here, and so we're already hitting a 15-minute low. And so what I would like, you can see the 5-day high, 1265.3. What I want is I kind of want prices to pop, make a little bit of a pop, and then maybe try and grab these dailies up here, 1270, 1272, right? I'm not going to force anything, um, but you can see the four-hour chart is ready to go. I'm already in the 1271 weekly right now. The thing is, though, if I have to cut 1271 weekly, if I have to stop loss that, Obviously, I'll just kind of move higher and grab something up here in the 1277, 1280 range. So I'm not too worried about it. That's why it's really, really great to pick good areas on the charts. As far as being a buyer tomorrow, if prices tank. Hopefully, if prices tank, I'm in stuff up here, right? So that's hopefully. Um, as far as being a buyer, you you do got a lot going on around that minus 0.5. You can obviously see there's a nice trading range right there too and so there is a lot of stuff going on as, as far as it tanks bills um, you could look to be a buyer I'm hoping that I can just get my cells on up here and then it's just a chill day to be honest I got some stuff going on tomorrow so that's why I like I, the way that I trade because I don't have to be stuck by my computer I can just kind of get these on I can almost manage everything from my phone that's kind of what I like um, so that's kind of my plan on the TF quickly look at the ES really quick. I'm trying to make this a little bit quicker. Um, obviously TF, uh, ES kind of made a move up. It sold off going in late in, in, in the, the day. I grabbed 21.34. I called that 21.34.5 weekly. Um, hopefully that's going to be a winner by Friday. You could have gotten that in. You could have easily gotten in on that with me. Yesterday I sold 21.25. So Pretty easy. That was called in the paddle plan as well. I sold 21.25 daily, right? 21.25. Just pick areas on the charts that you you know are false, right? That's all I'm doing is I'm trying to find statements that are going to be true or false tomorrow. So yesterday I knew 21.25 was a good one. 
uh, it's still a good one for tomorrow, right? If we have a pop now, when I obviously you can kind of see this four-hour sell trigger, but there's going to be some clues as far as um, obviously if you come in now, you're coming in late, right? You can't come in on this two. You're already two bars in. So what I mean, you got to move to this one-hour chart, and so uh, you can already see that this one-hour chart's already kind of cycling down to potential support zones tomorrow. So I'm going to watch for that tomorrow. Obviously that. Uh, you know, that 2100 area is psychological support. So I'm going to be watching that for tomorrow. So make sure that you check, take a look at the one hour and the 30 minute time frame in the morning and um, potential for support tomorrow. We'll, I'm not going to force a, a buy, but you can see how um, we've already making a move down. We're already down minus 0 0.4, 0 0.5 overnight. And um, so you can see how much stuff we got going on in this area tons of stuff so if price is kind of fuddling around here tomorrow I'm not against dailies potentially right there in that area again I don't want to force buys I like sells more than buys so when I buy something I really do my due diligence but I'm not against um, I really want price to kind of stay around here maybe get a little bit of support and I grab stuff here so message me if you have any questions